Hey guys, my name is Deborah, but you guys can call me Debbie. First off, I would like to say that I am new to YouTube and this is my first video upload and I am super excited to see what God has in store for this whole channel. I've been meaning to start a YouTube channel for quite a while, but I've been so busy with school, work, church, sleep. I never really took the initiative to start it, but here I am and I'm super excited. So let's start off with a little background information about me. I am 18 years old and I am a freshman in college studying biology. <laughs> yeah, I love music and I'm also part of the music ministry at my church. I am a PK and for those of you who don't know what a PK is, it basically stands for pastor's kid. Now I know that may sound intense. Trust me, when I meet new people, they ask questions like, wow, that must be so intense. Or wow, your parents must be so strict. No, no. Honestly, I'm happy that I grew up in the faith and I thank God every day for giving me the father that has taught me the right path to be with God. And for that, I am utterly grateful. So it's really not intense. And no, they're not strict because I choose to do this on my own will. No one is forcing me to follow the faith or the truth. No one's forcing me to follow God. I mean, who wouldn't want to follow God? God is amazing. He is who he is. And he has love that's unconditional. How can you not take advantage of that? I attend a church called Movimiento Pentecostal, Jesus es Dios Internacional. But in English, it stands for Pentecostal Movement, Jesus is God. Which brings me to my next point. I am Apostolic Pentecostal. Now, before I get into the whole what is Apostolic Pentecostal, I would first like to say that I don't mean to bash on anybody's religion. I don't mean to offend anybody. Okay, this is just me, my life, what I choose. We believe that there's only one God. Not three, not two, just one. Uno. Why I say that? So, that being said, we do believe that Jesus is God. We are Christians. We do believe that Jesus came down and died for our sins on the cross. And we do believe that Jesus was a manifestation of God. Because there's three manifestations. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit. So, that was one of the manifestations. So, God died for our sins. He had to manifest himself as a human to feel the pain, to feel what we were feeling as humans, to go through the same temptations and the obstacles and show us that it's not impossible to overcome anything. The second thing I want to establish is the fact that there's no difference between apostolic and Pentecostal. They go into the same meaning. Now let's break the two words up. Apostolic. Apostolic means that we abide by the apostles' teachings, meaning we believe and we follow what the apostles preached. What are the apostles? The apostles are the 12 people that Jesus gathered and taught to preach the gospel to many nations. So because of this, the apostles' teachings were crucial in establishing God's first church. As apostolics, we believe in every word of the Bible. We don't leave anything out. From the Old Testament to the New Testament, we abide by every rule, everything said in the Bible by Jesus and by his apostles. Pentecostal. Pentecostal is the experience of receiving the Holy Ghost and talking in heavenly or angelic tongues. So what exactly is the Holy Ghost? It's also known as the Holy Spirit, same thing. As described in Acts 2 verse 1 through 4, it was experienced as a sound coming from heaven and a rushing wind filling the atmosphere and consuming everybody. The way they knew that they received the Holy Ghost was through evidence of speaking in heavenly or angelic tongues. And most people may think, oh my gosh, that's so weird. No, it's not. It's beautiful. It's God being able to manifest himself in you being able to live with him through the holy spirit being able to walk with him every single day because you have that spirit of peace and love and you know that god is always there so receiving the spirit means that you are his and he loves and he blesses those that follow him and those that are of his his children 
Now initially, Jesus gave Peter three keys to enter the kingdom of heaven. The first one being repentance of our sins. The second one being being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of our sins. And number three is receiving the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit. In Acts 2, 38, where God's church was first established. And I have this memorized in Spanish, but I don't have it memorized in English, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Acts 2, 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of sins. I lost my place and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is a gift because it purifies and sanctifies and prepares us to dwell with God every single day. It's a gift because we get to see the evidence that God is with us and He is always there when we need Him. Which brings me to my next point. We believe that there must be baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. No other name but Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ has power and Jesus is God and God God is Jesus because God is one. In Deuteronomy 6 4, it states, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. There's also evidence in Acts 4 12, which states, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And repentance of our sin is the most important step in which we must take in order to be saved. The reason being is because we get to admit our faults. We get to lay all our burdens onto God and He'll take care of it. That's something amazing that not anybody can give us. Not anybody can take in all the pain and all the sadness and all the sorrow, all the confusion, all the embarrassment and tell you what to do and give you the strength and the faith and the hope to continue on. But that's something Jesus can do. That's something God can do. He can take all your burdens, put it on him and be like, child, it's going to be okay. You're going to be good. Just follow me and live pure lives and I will forever be with you. With you. Your pure is being able to live holy lives in which our lives glorify God. Our spirit, our personality, our charisma, everything reflects who we are as Christians and what we stand for. We believe we must be more Christ-like because Jesus came down and set the example of how we're supposed to be in overcoming temptations, overcoming obstacles, being sympathetic, being compassionate towards people no matter how many people think that you are crazy jesus went on many many journeys and not once did he stop and say you know what because billy said that i'm crazy i think i'm gonna just take a step back no that's not what he did he didn't care what anybody thought of him because he had a mission to die for our sins because he loved us so much we get to construct our minds more like jesus what would Jesus do? That saying is not just said because it's said. I don't, I don't know. That saying has a meaning. What would Jesus do in a situation where you feel like you're stuck and you feel like you're going to do the wrong thing? You just ask yourself, what would Jesus Christ do? And that's also where one-on-one -on -one communication with God comes in. You have to take advantage of that opportunity, being able to have a full-on conversation with God about how your day went, what happened in your job, or wow, you wouldn't believe the most random thing happened to me today. Just having that conversation with a person that is your friend, a person who is your father, a person who is your caretaker. How would you not want to sit there and be like, Ayo Jesus, guess what happened to me today? Like, it's really just you and him. Now that's another thing. Most people believe that you should only pray to God when you're stuck in situations or you're tempted by something. No, it's literally having a conversation with your best friend about anything and even thanking him for the good works that he has given onto you and thanking him for the blessings that he has given you, your family, your friends, your homies, anything. So you have to take advantage of that because that's where grace comes in. God loves us and God does everything for us even though we don't deserve it because Believe it or not, us humans, we fail him every single day. And you can't deny that because not everybody in this world is perfect. 
I haven't met one single person that is perfect. We all get tempted and we all go through obstacles that we get stuck on and we're like, hmm, how am I gonna solve this one? God is there. He's not someone in the background looking and laughing at your pain. That's not what God is. God is there to comfort you. He is there to make sure that you have a steady path and nobody messes with you. Because remember guys, we are children of a king. So therefore, if we're princesses and princes, if we're princesses and princes, then what could happen to us? That's where Romans 8.31 comes in. If God is for us, who can be against us? So by living holy lives, we are demonstrating that we could be more like Jesus Christ because God was holy, because Jesus was holy and he was compassionate and he set the example that we have to follow in order to be closer to him, in order for him to be pleased with us and our good works. So that's exactly what apostolic Pentecostals are. Also, we establish a family and in our church, there's always charisma and there's always Always energy flowing and good spirit and peace and love and fun like trust me if you ever been to one of those youth events you always feel welcomed you always feel like somebody is there praying for you even if you don't know anybody believe it or not there's someone out there reaching their hand towards you and praying for your life and praying that you have a blessed future and that you are able to come unto God and give your life onto him because he loves you and we are so energetic, the reason being is because if a friend or a guest or anybody that's invited to church comes into the sanctuary and sees a whole bunch of people jumping, clapping, shouting, running, walking, jogging, skipping, like you name it, you'll see everything. Reason being is because we feel like that's the most deserving praise we can give to a God of mercy, a God of love our god god deserves the most high praise because he is worthy of it all he deserves everything in this world because he gave his own life to make sure that we have life and to make sure that we have a prosperous future adjusting our lives to fit the word of god is so crucial in our salvation and our walk with god because his word brings life and his word is the seed in which we have to go and plant to others because by that we lift them up by that we give them an escape route to whatever pain they're going through to whatever sadness they're going through to whatever depression they're going through there's so many people in this world that are oppressed that just need to hear the love of god that need to hear his word that need to hear that he is there for them through thick and through thin and he will never give up on them luke 11 28 states blessed rather are those who hear the word of god and obey it so that's where the theme of this channel comes from i want to be able to encourage people to fight the good fight that God loves us too much to not fight for us. That God always lends an ear to hear his children. I want to be able to bring in fun into this channel and really show you guys what God has done in my life and the blessings I have received through him. I'll be doing vlogs, I'll be doing covers, I'll be doing teachings through the Bible, you guys name it. If you have any requests, feel free to comment down below. I promise you I will be reading every single one. I have no idea where I got this pen from. Overall me, I'm a fun gal. I love to listen to people. You guys can follow me on my Instagram. I did convert my personal Instagram into a Christian blog, which is totally okay with me because I felt like God spoke to me and said that I really had a mission to reach out to the young people of today's generation. So follow me on my Instagram and feel free to DM me with anything literally anything memes photos something that will make me laugh something that that you want me to pray for i'm not sure how often i'm going to be posting but i assure you guys that it's gonna be okay and i'll keep you guys up to date this channel is for god this channel is to do god's will and to do his work not my own so that being said if you guys want to continue learning about who i am and what i am about 
then please click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any request of what you want me to talk about, then just comment down below and I'll be more than happy to read all of them and really, really comply to every single one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.